YouTube want to do another video on the Intel Compute Stick. Uh, got one for a demo and want to see how well it would do gaming. Uh, this go around we're using, we're, sorry, we're testing Awesome Knots. Uh, we're testing it at 1080p low settings, uh, VSync disabled. Uh, we're also using uh, the OpenGL instead of DirectX. Uh, it actually runs better in OpenGL, so I'm doing testing on that. However, um, we are running the Intel Compute Stick in performance mode, so it will run a little better if, uh, versus uh, running it in standard mode. That can be enabled and disabled in the BIOS. Um, so over to the far right, we have sorry, far left, we have our uh, we have our frame rate at 28 frames per second. Below that, we have our CPU temperatures for uh, cores one, two, three, and four. And then to the right of that, we have our CPU usage. Um, below CPU uh, usage and temp, we have our system memory usage. Then below that, we have our GPU usage. Um, and then below GPU usage, we have our VRAM usage, our video memory usage. Um, below that, we have our uh, GPU temperature. And to the right, we have our GPU core clock speed. And to the right of that, we have our CPU clock speeds for all four cores. So anyways, we're going to fire this up, do a quick bot match, and um, see how well it runs. Um, uh, So right off, the, right off the bat, we're seeing uh, frame rates in the 40s. I think it was dipping down in the 30s when we first started. Um, but right now, we're still in the 40s, approaching 50s. Not doing so hot here. So performance still in the forty range, um, dipping down thirties here and there. Very playable. Obviously, if we're playing multiplayer um, with a split screen, um, obviously we're probably going to be looking at a little less performance, but um, for single player usage, it's, it's not bad. So still in the 30s, um, jumping up in the 40s. It's utilizing quite a bit of system memory. Um, I did notice that the GPU core clock speed is fluctuating, staying at 340 megahertz, 340 megahertz most of the time. So um, I don't know why. Maybe that's probably because it's TDP limited because this game is pretty well multi-threaded and that was an option when you're doing your settings um, to make sure that it's multi-threaded and I did so it is utilizing quite a bit of the CPU cores um, so in doing so uh, utilizing the cores, the system memory and the GPU uh, TDP becomes a limit at that point so it could be the reason why our um, GPU uh, core clock speed is not at its peak which is 620 megahertz 
as you can see the usage is, is maxed out 100% so um, at this point it's I think it's pretty evident that it is TDP limited but regardless the frame rate is still relatively good very playable The uh, CPU cores, you know, 1300 megahertz and up, so they're definitely being utilized. Um, it's pretty typical to see um, the CPUs hovering their base clock when they're all being utilized. Very rarely do you see them go to their boost, which is 1.83. Um, again, because we're TDP limited and, and the GPU at this point needs a little more. Okay, well, I think that about does it for Awesome Knots. Uh, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.